please, Mr. Please, don't play A119. Yeah, we don't ever want to hear that song, ever. May 25th. Following Russia's space race success and the double failure of America's own Project Vanguard to launch a satellite into orbit, the U.S. began experiencing Sputnik envy and tried to recapture their competitive edge by instead launching DARPA and NASA and top-secret projects like A-119, the plan to detonate a nuclear bomb on the moon. From 1949 until 1962, the Armour Research Foundation at Illinois Institute of Technology studied the aftermath of nuclear explosions on the environment. Near this date in 1958, with the support and guidance of a salivating United States Air Force, ARF began looking into the possible havoc a nuclear explosion directed at the moon could wreak. The U.S. Air Force suggested the program, asserting that blowing shit up was just what the American people needed as an elixir to cure those American space race losing blues. In 1957, the U.S. Secret Service claimed an anonymous source told them the Soviets intended to nuke the moon during the lunar eclipse on November 7th of that year to commemorate the October Revolution. In reality, Russia didn't come up with their own plan for lunar nuclear testing until 1958, and their plan was in stages, with atomic annihilation the last in a series of four. The American plan, of course, went straight to atomic annihilation, racing past the stages of reaching the moon and sending probes to photograph its surface like the Soviet plan had. The competing space racers both figured out their plans could backfire. Soviet concerns were centered on the danger of fallout and a potential miss, sending the missile back to Earth. Americans were worried about making the moon uninhabitable for future colonization because they knew back then they would someday run out of places to colonize on Earth. Thanks for covering this story with me, Shanda. And on your birthday, your dedication blows me away. Thanks to Oz, too, for bringing this little nugget to our attention. Thanks, Linda. We both got to spend our birthdays on the moon. I don't think many people can say that. Do you think Oz is trying to get rid of us? Maybe he's trying to save us. Hashtag World War III will probably not be on the moon.